Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make big brain smart plays instead of just throwing your money at the stock market and wishing and hoping that it's going to grow over time. Now, I've been doing this for a while now, and I know how to look at the market and find very smart strategic plays. Now, I hear people all the time saying, oh, I can't afford Amazon stock. I can't afford Google stock. Some of the world's top companies there is. Oh, yeah, I can't afford this share of Amazon because it's $3,000. So I'm going to throw $3,000 at a penny stock. I'm gonna throw a hundred dollars at this one dollar price company that I've never heard of, wishing and hoping that it's gonna blow up over time. Well, I'm telling you guys, so nine times out of 10, you're, you're, you're not gonna win that battle, especially if you're new into the market and you just started now in 2022. Even old heads that's been inside the market, they try to blow up real, real quick. They try to flip some quick money by investing into these small cap companies. Well, I'm here to let you know that that is not a smart play at all. So if you're tired of seeing your portfolio um, drop every single month and you're ready to turn around and make some very smart plays inside the stock market. If you're tired of seeing your portfolio drop over every single month and you're ready to make some smart investments and you're wondering how do I find these smart investments, first thing that you need to do is go down and hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, hit that notification bell that helps out this channel more than you guys can even imagine. The second thing that you need to do is instead of looking for fast, quick money, investing into these small cap companies, these penny stocks, uh, you need to make very smart strategic plays. And what I mean is by that is that you want to look at what happens in the market that historically over time, when this one thing happens, it usually outperforms the market by maybe five to 6% over time. And one of those things that I taught you guys last year is stock splits. When, when companies have a stock split, like a four to one stock split, that means for every one share that you own of Apple, you'll receive four shares of Apple, but they divide the price in quarters. It doesn't change the evaluation of the company at all, but historically speaking, it outperformed the S&P 500 by 6%. It outperformed the market by 6% in that year that it does the same stock split in the next 365 days, guys. So if you want for sure money like that, historically speaking, I mean, this is data over the last 50, 60, 70, 80 years, right? That historically speaking, when a company A does this, the price does this. Now, why would you not want to invest inside those companies? Yes, you're not gonna have those 100, 200, 300% gains in a single year, but by making smart strategic plays like the ones I taught you last year about the stock splits, you're gonna see your portfolio grow over time because data has backed it up that when company A do this, the stock price do this. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys another one. Last year, I told you guys about Tesla stock split and Apple stock split and it performed amazing. So in this video, I'm about to give you another historically data-driven um, event that when company A does this, the price is gonna do this. So make sure that you stick out the entire video so you can pick up this cool tip, start to perform well inside the stock market and stop seeing your portfolio doing all of this every single month. And you can start to have some consistent gains inside of your portfolio. But before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Webull. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit any amount of money and you'll receive two free stocks valued up to $1,600. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside the portfolio and decide to use it, or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, this is literally free money. Guys, I also left a link to Coinbase down in the description. That is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. I think you could get a free $10 worth of Bitcoin by depositing $100. And I also left another link to Moomoo. Moo. You'll get another five free stocks by depositing $100 inside of Moomoo. Moo. So all of those links down there is free money for you guys. Go ahead and get your journey started today. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. So the big tip that I got for you guys, remember last year I told you guys about stock splits and how stock splits perform and that they outperform the S&P 500 by 6%. Well, in this video, the big brain idea, the big historically driven data idea, and the big brain idea in this video is stock buybacks. So what is a stock buyback? 
In a stock buyback or share repurchasing program, a company repurchases their shares in the marketplace. This practice has the effect of reducing the numbers of outstanding shares available and will increase the company's earnings per share. A company could execute a stock buyback in one or two ways. The first way that they could do it, they could buy the shares back from their shareholders. And the second way that they could do it is that they could buy back their shares out in the open market. All right, so to make that very simple, supply and demand, guys. If a company goes out there and buy back billions of dollars worth of their shares, that means that there is less shares out there floating around, which that means if I hold the share and then now there's less shares out there, this is gonna make the share that I hold more valuable. That means, historically speaking, that the value of my share will go up over time just because this company is doing a buyback program of their shares. Now that is smart. Now you're not out there making dumb plays, buying penny stocks all the time, buying options all the time, watching your portfolio go down to zero, back up to $100, back down to zero, back up to $1,000, back down to zero. This is a smart play that you guys can do that whenever you see a company do this, a company that you trust, not every, not every company a good company, but a company that you trust do a company share buyback. That means historically speaking, their share value is gonna go up over time. Now I'm gonna tell you what companies are doing buybacks in this video, but first, why do companies do stock buybacks? Well, there's one or two reasons I will never understand the mind of a CEO that is a trillionaire. They know a lot of information that we don't know, but uh, but one of the reasons is that it's a tax cut by them buying back their shares. They are taxed differently than giving out dividends. It's, it's a completely different kind of market when you're a trillionaire, guys. But that is one way uh, these companies save out on money. It changed the valuation of their company and it also saves them on tax some kind of way. So companies that are, have performed well that year usually do a stock buyback. And the company that is doing a stock buyback this year, where there's two, and I'm gonna give you guys a couple of companies that has done stock buybacks and how have they performed. But the one in this video that we're really focused on is Microsoft. Now, Microsoft announced at the end of last year, Q4 last year of 2021, is that they're doing a $60 billion buyback. $60 billion, guys. That's how much of more shares is not going to be out on the market. That means you own any amount of Microsoft inside of your portfolio. Yes, Microsoft is expensive right now. It's around $300. But the last time that they did a stock buyback was in 2019. It was priced at around $130. And at the recording of this video, Microsoft is around $316. That, that means it went from $130 to around $300. $16 and of course from 2019 to 2022 Q1 it increased that much over time just from their last company buy back in 2019 and they just announced one in the Q4 of 2021 that they're going to have a 60 billion dollar buyback so historically speaking if there's less shares out there on the market just supply and demand that means the value of the shares of Microsoft I hold in my portfolio is going to become more valuable over time. Now, before we dive into stock number two, if you guys want to be a part of the Discord, you can sign up now by clicking the link down in the comment section. That'll take you to my Patreon. The Patreon will take you to the Discord. Over there, you'll have access to my portfolio. Every single time I buy a stock, every single time I sell a stock, all of my trades, my swing trades. And also we have a great community of traders that post their option trades, their option day trades, their swing trades, their lotto plays. So if you guys want to be a part of an awesome community, a large group of investors, a large group of traders, and you want to have access to all of that knowledge all in one place, then you can sign up for the Discord by clicking the link down in the comment section. Um, stock number two, this is the company that is the king of share buybacks is Apple. Okay, guys, Apple spent $85.5 billion in share buybacks in 2021. And over the last 10 years, Apple have bought back $467 billion worth of shares over the last 10 years. So if you're wondering why Apple always performs so well, they buy back their shares and they do stock splits. Just such an amazing company. That's why they're known as the flight to safety company because of the quality of their shares. Now, other companies that have done stock buybacks that I really like and I pounce on every single time I see them make an announcement is Apple, of course, Microsoft, Facebook. When they announce that they're doing uh, share buybacks, I hop onto Facebook and Home Depot. When they announce that they're doing share buybacks, I, of course, hop on. There are other companies that do share buybacks, but um, these companies, 
are in the billions when they do their share buybacks. Let me pull up a quick chart right quick. All right, so here we are right here on this uh, quick list. Microsoft announced a $60 billion share repurchases program. It's the fourth largest in history. So the first three, of course, is Apple back in 2018. They did a $100 billion buyback. Apple again with a $90 billion buyback in 2021. 2019 75 billion and here's microsoft with the most recent buyback in 2021 with 60 billion that's apple ge apple apple microsoft and microsoft so uh everything after that is underneath 40 billion dollars but so the top 10 right here in the billions is nine times out of ten either going to be microsoft or apple so whenever microsoft announced that they're having a billion dollar buyback i pounce on our opportunity as you guys know i always invest into apple amazing company i I'm, i don't have to speak that every time i make a video you guys already know that but with microsoft announcing that 60 billion dollar buyback i have to let you guys know that if you're tired of losing money inside of the stock market quit making dumb plays quit making dumb option plays quit buying dumb penny stocks quit saying that you can't buy these good value companies because it's not going to go up any higher if they announce something like a stock split or a share buyback the stock buyback then that is your guys opportunity to invest into great companies that have historically speaking over time why not take historical data that's like betting against tom brady you don't bet against tom brady because historically speaking he wins the ship every single time no matter where he goes so if you're a cowboys fan i understand why you bet on penny stocks if you're a cowboys fan i understand why you do option trading it's because you like to take risk and you only live one but if you're tired of losing like the cowboys go ahead and start to make smart strategic investments by studying the market keeping a pen and notepad a pencil and notepad close nearby tracking your trades tracking your investments and invest into these very smart strategic plays so there you go guys that's two big brain ideas um stock splits and now that you guys learned the new one which is um company buybacks uh the share the share buybacks um that's two things that you guys got inside your pocket you can tell your friends about it hey did you know microsoft is doing this this is what happened when microsoft buy back shares they're gonna look at you like you're the smart one in the group that was like man this dude know what he talking about he knows stocks all right so so take what you're learning apply it inside the market if you don't like microsoft look for another company that is doing a stock buyback look for another company that is doing a stock split all right so uh don't you don't have to take every single time a company do a buyback you don't have to take that trade if you don't like that company if you love that company then that might be the trade you want to take so here's a little quick test if you already knew about stock buybacks go ahead hit the thumbs up button if you do not know about stock buybacks go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you made it to the end of this video <laughs> hit both buttons all right but go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section on what type of investor are you are you the one that invested to penny stocks hoping that you turn a hundred dollars into two thousand dollars real fast or are you the one a long-term investor to where you invest a hundred dollars into the market every month and then at the end of the year if you make some smart plays you see a pretty significant increase from six seven eight percent and over time you'll be able to retire with great companies inside your portfolio what type of investor are you let me know down in the comment section but other than that guys make sure you pick up your two free stocks for signing up for weeble make them big brain plays inside the stock market and stop making stupid decisions but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace